how is it well of course but again do we look at that as the as the uh, point of reference for our development where does the courage stop and the cowardice begin you know do we do we do we say no and no matter what they do do we continue to keep this germ alive or do we capitulate do we say that we know what is truth but because we have the threat of this entity coming down on us do we stop what we're doing if 20 years ago I was not doing this or Bobby was not doing this <coughs> and we weren't saying the things that we were saying would we be gathered here today at this particular room would I have 150 200 people gathering in Atlanta would that be happening no it is a time there's a time when you gotta say hell no you know what is it that we are gonna do Are we gonna live like this no you got to stand up and you got to do what you have to do because that is the only way that you are going to uh, amplify that energy that is seeking to be manifest that you represent that energy to the fullest extent and if you fall in the process that energy is already encoded in the akasha to be picked up by the next strain that will pick up that same standard and move it forward and that is life that is what it is this is what we've chosen to do and to be we chose the adversary that we wish to fight and we know who it is that we're dealing with and very few of us are now waking up to that fact some of us wake up maybe 20 years some of us takes 20 years to wake up but when we do wake up that shit scares the shit out of the adversary he wants you to stay asleep that is why he is genetically trying to switch you off he knows what your genes mean to your consciousness for instance the genetic part of your body is not that template that you see it is a frequency band that is in your body that is transmitting information in the form of vibrations and light those little pieces that you see just happen to be the fuses that are part of the circuit but you don't see the electricity that you put into the fuse you can't take a fuse out and look and see what the electricity is can you see the consciousness inside of it no you could change the ohms or the ampage to the fuse and get a different kind of energy and that's all he is doing at this time what is happening is that the energy around this manipulation of the genes is to stop the soul from unburdening itself of the past experiences that have become etched or as a signature on the soul the soul is a template of the body's experience in the flesh it is what you carry away as the uh, as the solar stellar cosmic universal energy template that that is the template of your experience while you're walking around in this illusion and this delusion that you call your life this illusion is part of the work that you chose trillions and ages time immemorial time unconquerable ago to come into the quest to spiritualize matter matter is part the part of God that is the ignorance of God that is the part that you took on the quest with Lucifer to go and spiritualize your participation in matter is what creates the knowledge that God has of itself in so doing the body itself now has a memory engram of the experience that it calls the soul on the soul there are deep signatures and there are light signatures of the experiences that you had if you could remember all of the horror that went on in the past trillion lives you would just blow up so for everything that you have in this body every every time you take on the flesh there is another awakening at the time you reach 21 years of age the third cycle of seven at the third cycle of seven there is a a, a, a hormone is secreted in the system that triggers the awakening of the soul's um, energy and then that's the point where you begin to feel 
what you want to be and do. You become attracted to what it is that, 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 that the, most, um, the most influential signal on the soul dictates as going to be, is going to be your behavior. So here you are, this new soul, or this old soul with a new body, now getting ready to become awakened into itself to find out what it must do to unburden past uh, atrocities that it did to someone else or past atrocities in your ignorance of yourself that you did to yourself or was done unto you. All of these experiences are now waking up in the form of your behavior, in the form of the way you're thinking, in the form of the way you're feeling you want to be. Now they found out that the genetic structures that form who you are basically creating your diseases genetically called they call genetically transmitted diseases these genetically transmitted diseases are evidence that the template has a programming that you are to work through in your new body if you have somebody artificially removing that template signature that is supposed to be the guidelines for your behavior if you come out crippled or some shit that you got to work through, basically making you think a certain way, remove that and you have systematically frozen that burden upon the soul. Because now the soul has no way of using the template signatures of the genes to unburden itself. It no longer remembers why it's here. It becomes a robotic functionary for whoever programs the genetic structure. And that is why they want your genetic structure. To trap what the soul must do as it progresses in the physical body. Trap it to this reality at this particular level of development. And to use whatever is necessary as slave labor to maintain their particular position because those who are in charge especially the ones who are fucking with us and manipulating us they can't make the next quantum leap to the next dimension of reality and because of that they must manipulate your genetics and interface crossbreed with you in order to reinforce their own genetics and why do you think that commercials like Nokia for that phone call that uh, phone has a white male sitting next to a black woman and she ain't just black because she got straight hair and she's looking like she's white she got afro puffs with african jewelry and everything she's sitting at the other end of the ch of the couch in this loud ass party and he says to her something that you don't hear either he goes into his pocket and pulls out his nokia phone taps in her number talks to her and tells her great cheeses huh and as soon she says oh yeah and at the end of the commercial, you see him get up from his end of the couch and go right next to her in her space, and she opens up to him. What you are looking at is the use of the black womb who has the foundational genetics that cannot be distorted, cannot be fucked with no matter what you do. It can be suspended or put into stasis, but if it's awakened, you can't fuck with it. To maintain that particular energy in that level you get her preoccupied with all this bullshit out here making her believe like Oprah which is the which is the the, the clearing house for nigrification of black women in so doing a woman's attention which is very important a woman's attention is the most precious thing you could have and that attention is being now specifically turned away from the archetypal duty that her body was created to do. Once you have her attention, which is something that you could get if you start messing with that archetypal nature of hers, if you fuck with it, you turn it away and now you train it psychologically and psychospiritually to now change the coding of the genes to match what you want it to be. Now, I know this just sounds like, what the fuck is you talking about? They say that environment dictates the person, and they're right. Not only the external environment, but the internal one as well. The internal environment that is necessary to change the genetics is what you do to condition the womb wherein 
the byproduct of those genetics take form.